Hey, so um, I've decided to make a video going through all my tarot decks, um, actually inspired by a conversation and videos um, from Star. Um, originally was just going to make this to show to her, but I might post it, so I have no idea. Um, also, I think these headphones have a microphone, so I hope you can hear me. Otherwise, this will be a wasted um, several next minutes. But um, anyway. So, the first deck I ever owned, I actually do not have anymore. It was this itty bitty little thing, tiny, and um, I can't even remember what was on it. I remember where I bought it though, um, and I remember I had got it so small because I was hiding it from my mom. Um, so, I was like a teenager. Um, during that time though, I saw this deck that I had to have. And it took me, oh god, maybe about 10-15 years to bite the bullet and actually buy it. Um, I don't have the box anymore, I don't even think I have the book anymore, um, but it is the Dragon Tarot. Um, this is what I kind of learned on, and in hindsight um, I realized that was kind of flawed because the imagery, some of it really speaks to what it is some of it not quite as much you don't get the same injury imagery as like the Rider weight deck but um, this I pined over for so many years it's so pretty I love it I even love the back of it was super duper into dragons for a really long time. So, super pretty. Sorry if it's out of focus. I don't have a fantastic setup, it's just my phone. So, super glad that I had bought it when I did because it was a major turning point for me um, kind of getting back into all of this but it doesn't call to me the way I did it's still very nostalgic for me but um, I'm finding now that it wasn't quite right for the time which is probably why it's taken me so long to really really get into tarot um, the second deck was actually a gift, and it's actually two decks. It was part of a set that was actually a color your own tarot. Um, I believe it's a Mersal Mer Mersal deck. Mersal. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. Um, it's a little more traditional in the imagery. It's just never spoke to me. Um, it's very thin, very flimsy, very sh shiny and, and slick, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it makes it easier to shuffle um, because they slide. But um, very traditional, traditional imagery there. Is this in order? No, it's not. Um, the blank deck has the same. It's hard to see. The same images. Um, it came with some cheap colored pencils to color it. Um, I actually gave it to Jack because um, he wanted to color it and well, he never did. Anyway, um, I think he plays with it sometimes. But uh, very traditional imagery. Maybe I should play with it a little more to better familiarize myself. Um, but it's just like... don't 
get a lot from that. Yes, I see 10 pentacles. I have no pentacles and coins deal with emotions, but I don't get that emotion from these. Um, a lot of the images. So that's probably why I don't use it. Also had a book. I don't know where the book is. Anyway, that was gifted to me by a really good friend. Um, the next deck that I got, I can't remember if it was the Wild Unknown or this silly deck from um, Spirit Halloween. I think I've seen it at um, Spencer's before also. The back is super neat. It's cute. But the images, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. It's... Looks like it goes over different um, fables, folklore, maybe. So definitely not a good deck for learning. Um, I don't know. It just Eight of Pentacles is a zombie. I, I don't even see any pentacles in there. I think the creator had a good idea, but it's just not quite there. I've seen it in the group a few times, and people are like, I don't understand what this says, and I'm like, I don't either, because it's just so... I don't even know. Well, the fool is a fool, so there's that, but... I don't feel like it represents the fool very well. Kraken. So. Um, also, very thin, very flimsy. But what I do like about it is I can shuffle it the way I want to shuffle. Because it's not super big. I can do that with it, which is what I prefer. But anyway, um, maybe used it like once and it, it just, it's fun to have. It's a novelty. Um, the next deck, yes, this one, the Wild Unknown. Um, I still have the box for this. Look, it's the bag. Um, but I prefer, as you can see, having them in bags. But anyway, this deck I pined for for maybe about a year. The the Wild Unknown. There's the back. Um, it's it's smaller, ish. It's still bigger than my um, original deck. So it took a little getting used to. It's um, a matte finish. It feels very nice. Kind of a snakeskin inspired there. And this one is just so pretty. Finally bit the bullet and bought it, I don't know, last Christmas, I think. Just just look at that. The only thing is, is they don't have names on them. Which is kind of a bummer, because if you don't know your Roman numerals. So... It looks like some of them do. The major arcana. Oops. But um, obviously, wildlife inspired. Each suit actually has their own animal. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Cups. That's super pretty. Great, 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 great energy. Great animal energy. Great totem energy. Great imagery. Very me. Very paradoxical, paradoxical, paradox. I don't know. Alt alternating forces, opposing forces. You've got all this black and white, but then you have the the light and the rainbow and the fun. There's your tower. So, okay. owls. That's pretty. That's an ace. An ace. Look how vibrant. Okay, don't 
have enough time to go through all of them. So, this one's still a little tricky to read. The um, artwork is supposed to represent, obviously, certain feelings, like um, the, the flow of the lines. The, the colorful ones, obviously, in your your brighter cards, your your more optimistic cards, versus um, you know, like the hangman here, black and white and red. I believe that's the same deck. Uh, I I really do love this deck. Um, again, some of the images, though, I don't know, they they kind of fit the empress. Um, there you go, the string. But, super pretty imagery and great energy. It's, um, I keep letting pretty pictures distract me though, and I feel like it kind of has hindered my learning. So, uh, we're working on that. Anyway, my last deck, you've seen tattoo deck. So there's the back. It almost looks like a regular playing card deck on the back, sort of. Um, it's kind of big and it's really thick. I have a hard time with this one. Um, since I like to shuffle like a, a playing card, um, makes it hard to shuffle. So also quite big. I have to break since it's so thick and it's, it's pretty thick cardstock there. I have to break it into like two decks and, and then shuffle um, the way I normally would and then put them all together. Oops, put it together. And then kind of, maybe this will help, I don't know. But some of this is a little um, Rider Waite inspired. It's a very traditional old school tattoo look. I feel like visually a lot of these speak more to me, um, especially like your major arcana. But then some of these, I I don't get it from, from this, but we're, we're getting there. My daily card draws have definitely helped. I just ordered two oracle decks and um, a holographic writer weight. So we'll play with those. And kind of see where that gets me. But anyway, so there's uh, five decks. Technically, four of them are mine. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Five of them are mine. But um, anyway, wow, that turned out longer than I thought it would. Um, bye!